Okay, I want to do this uh, video tutorial on PowerDirector 9. This is the uh, this is the video editor, of course. And I have to tell you uh, from the beginning that PC requirements for this are very high. Um, to get it actually running on your PC, uh, the software says 500 megahertz processor, AMD, Pentium, whatever, but that's just for it to actually show up on your PC. Once you get into the editing and all that, that's when you'll start seeing slowdowns with that, with that kind of speed. If you want the software to cooperate with you with no lag when it comes to the editing, you need at least uh, you need a dual core. No, no lie, dual core. And at my minimum, I'm saying is maybe a Pentium HT at the highest frequency possible, because um, to let it run on a single core and hyper threading then you know you're gonna need you're gonna need the power just because of all the graphics and stuff and then when it comes to producing it that's when it encodes the video so it can be uploaded to YouTube or encoded so it can be put on a DVD that's when you're gonna start feeling the computer slow down if you encode it and you don't have the right processor speed and you don't have the right RAM it's gonna slow down you're gonna be trying to browse the internet while it's encoding it's gonna really just bring the computer to a halt so minimum requirements, I would say a Pentium HT with at least a gigabyte of RAM, um, and a, f a computer that goes up to at least 1024 by 768. I'm using uh, 1280 by the 768. No, 1280 by 800. But anyway, this software allows you to edit videos. First, we're going to start with the capture tab. This allows you to capture uh, from like a webcam or any device that's like you if you have hooked up to a TV or whatever that you can capture anything coming off of uh, your TV or webcam or like an easy cap kind of device or Roxio gameplay that's what that is anything that captures and uh, you can do voiceovers of course um, so and by default it will have it as uh, C users the name of your computer documents Cyberlink, PowerDirector, that's where all your videos go. So if you're starting to lose space, you just wipe all the videos out of that as soon as you're done encoding and you put them on a disk or something like that. Um, I just got the software maybe two days ago, this program. Um, let's go to the Edit tab. Now, when you drag all of your contents into the program, you want to put them in here because this is what you're going to be messing with. First, you're you know once you get it, wherever it is on your hard drive, you drag it in here, then you drag it into your timeline, and this will determine how it's going to look on how it's going to look, you know. Just in case you're putting it on a DVD or uploading it to YouTube, this will definitely determine how it's going to look. Uh, so, I already, drag, I already have some videos down here. So, this, is, this part is one video, right here, the one that's highlighted blue. And this is one video, and you can do many things if you want to add another video. Here's a second video, but you know, they're all playing, they're playing like they're, it's a single video, but it's really separate videos. The software makes it do that. Uh, so if you want transitions, so it goes from this video to the next video with a nice transition, you click here, or F8, and it'll show you the transitions. You click on them, and it'll show you different ones. And this one has much better ones than Movie Maker. Movie Maker kind of sucks compared to this one and like rip ripple effects and then when you want that uh, transition you just drag it right in between the video and it'll uh, make a little symbol saying that it's going to be put there you can also replace current ones that are there once you drop it in there it'll just replace it okay um, you can also do voiceovers like I said um, when, yeah here it is this is um, where you do your voiceovers and um, still you'll have to do some editing what this software comes with is called a wave editor so if you want to edit the audio in the video itself it'll open up another program associated with this program so I'm just gonna right click on this clip and I'm looking for edit audio oh, it's not letting me do that let me see if I go back to oh here we go sorry about that right here where it says edit audio you can edit the audio in this video or the entire clip itself so once you click this it'll extract this audio from that video and then it'll bring up wave editor I'm not going to show you that right now but then that'll allow you to edit 
the audio, it'll allow you to do the bass and all that, but I'm not going to get into that. You can also do overlays, which, I l which I've been looking for for like seven years, how to do overlays. And some software comes with it, and this one does. So if you want to drag in, let's just say, this video. You drag it in down here, and now it's going to assume it's two videos in one, but basically it's an overlay. So let me see. Let me play this video. Yep. Alright, so it's playing two videos in one, but this is what you do. And there we go. Now, you can have it at the point where it can play two videos in one. Yeah, Check this out. Maybe an hour to two hour So, let's just say you need that, that, those two frames, this software can do it. It's amazing. I mean, this is new technology to me, so if you're teasing me, it doesn't matter because I've been using Movie Maker since Windows XP, and Windows XP Movie Maker, Movie Maker on Windows 7 and Vista cannot even touch this software. So, uh, oh yeah, it's telling me my computer's slowing down. That I'm running this computer, pro this CAM program, so that's fine. Um, yes. So if you want to do an illustration of uh, driving a standard, most people do that. How to drive a standard? You can show how to clutch the pedals, how to run the pedals, how to run the clutch, at the same time showing another image out in the open. Um, I believe you can only do one overlay, but it's it's amazing. This is really great. Um, so that that's that. Um, I can't really go through all these options because I don't know what they do. To split a film, I'm going to show you how to split a film, um, or how to split, basically. Um, you select whatever part you want. Now, now I have to find the split part. Um, let me see. Right here where it says split, right here. Now you have that line right there, that blue line. All it'll do is split that film. You can also do it up here, because down there, down there with highlight it. And now it's split. And now you can wipe all this out. And let me see. And then hit remove. Remove. And here we go. Now you have a split film. You got rid of all that other junk. YouTube will not allow you to update. update upload more than 15 minutes worth of video. You can even do text, put text in a video, and it's much more easier than Windows Movie Maker because now you know where your text is going to be and at, at what time and what text you have in the film. So let's just click on that. Oh no, that's the title. Excuse me. This is the title. We don't want that. Um, how do you do captions? Subtitles. That's what it's going to come up. Last one, F12. And where this pointer is right now, that's where your uh, subtitle is going to be. You just hit the plus sign, and then that's where it's going to be. So we're going to just put something in there. Video test. And watch. Right now. Video yeah. test. And that's what it'll look like. I'm sure you can format the letters in a way, you know, you can format those letters. But remember, this thing is... um subtitles so if it doesn't look if you can't format the letters then so be it but this is so much better than windows movie maker windows movie maker is really for home use this is for commercial use so that's why processor or computer requirements are you know but this program at the end when it comes down to the end requires solely on processor not memory it requires a memory but it works the processor more once you start that produ produ once you're done when you click on the produce tab and um, you can have I'm on the YouTube tab right now if you click on that then that'll tell you uh, do you want to upload it to YouTube you type in your username password uh, then it'll tell you your resolutions that are available which Windows Movie Maker has better options than this I'm sure I can modify it though and a title your description your tags and category and once you hit start, you're going to feel your computer come down to a halt if you don't have good requirements. Even that minimum I told you for the PC requirements is no is really no good when it comes to the speed of the conversion. It'll speed up if you have those kind of requirements and you don't touch your computer. Um, so what I usually do, even with this computer, I have a 2.17 gigahertz Core Duo processor, and uh, I even have performance problems trying to multitask so you don't want to have a lot of stuff open when you're doing that okay um, I just want to go over a couple more things so you'll understand what kind of software this is um, I haven't tried most of these other ones this is particle room I don't know I think I think this is more special effects for the video um, or maybe a title I don't know 
uh, let's try these other ones. These are other ones I've never used before. I think this is uh, like frames and stuff. I really don't know. Uh, you can download more from Director Zone, which is the website. I don't know what this stuff is. Um, effect Room. I don't know how it's going to pertain to the video. Uh, let's see. Let's throw one in. It's just raining, but here's a, here's a little bit of wind. You see oh, there we go. Here, you right? see it's throwing the effects inside the video. Okay, that's what that is. It just adds effects to the video. Let me see what else we can do. Alright, hold on. Let's drag this here. It's just raining, but and this here's, a, here's a little bit of wind. You see the, the maps here. And yeah, that's what that is. So, um, yeah, I mean, you can even add um, music in the background. You can mute the other two films using Wave Editor. Now, this one is a little, the software, you have to do a little bit more work just to get your video done, but it's more fun. You're going to have more fun doing it. Oh, and this is where you can mute them. Excuse me. This is where you can mute them. That's where we're at right now, somewhere in between there. But this is where that actual wall, wall is the eye. But it's here. It's here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's here. And now, we got some wind. it has one video of Alan playing, and not both. So, this is where you can go to turn down the volume of each video, or each clip that you have on the screen. I just found this out right now. So, alright, I'm just going to wrap this up here. And you can also do your aspect ratio, and I know a lot of people have widescreen. By default, it'll detect your video card and allow you to do it in widescreen, but um, I have mine in 169 because I do have a 169 screen. It's not full HD, maybe like 720p kind of, but it, it, it gets the job done. Um, now, back to the Produce tab. When you go to hit Start, and uh, you see these options over here, and it says Hardware Editor Encoder, um, this is what it's going to do to make the video go faster if you have that option. Of course, I don't have it. I have an NVIDIA Quadro on here, but the drivers aren't updated, so that's probably why I'm not getting this. Um, and that's probably why my computer runs well with this because I'm not using some of that crappy Intel GMA stuff so yes this is where you go to produce your video you can also have it formatted for a device so if you wanted to go on a cell phone you wanted to go on a uh, GZMC series I think that's some kind of high definition camera you can throw it on a PSP uh, Xbox you know you can have it all formatted for these devices and it'll encode for those devices so that's really 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 good um, if you just want to save it as a regular format file so it can be played on your computer and maybe you can throw it on another device in these formats it'll also do that it'll even do it in the H.264 format which is the of course high definition format um, you can even have enable preview during production so you can actually see the video move as it's encoding so you'll see how far you are into the video for it being done although it does tell you the time down here um, but this software is really optimized for high-end video cards, high-end machines. Uh, the more high-end your machine is, the more responsive this software will be. So this was a short tutorial on PowerDirector 9. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment or message me in my inbox.